In this quick lecture, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about the code blocks IDE or the integrated development environment. I will try to answer a couple of questions regarding code blocks integrated development environment. First is let's understand what is code blocks. Code blocks is an open source. Open source software means the software in which the source code is available for you. So you can see the source code, modify if you want and use it for your personal usage. Cross platform means it can be used on Windows, it can be used on Linux, it can be used on Macintosh and it can be used on multiple platforms which the developers decide to provide support for. The most important it's a free C, C++ and Fortran IDE. But there are a few things to understand about code blocks. When I say code blocks is an integrated development environment, code blocks itself is not really the name of the compiler, the linker or the debugger. Code blocks is like a house which has many rooms and assume in each of those rooms, one room a compiler is staying, one room an editor is staying, one room a debugger is staying, one room a, uh, say for example, the Fortran compiler is staying, a COBOL compiler is staying, although COBOL doesn't exist, but just giving an example. So it is like a piece of software which provides place for a compiler, editor, debugger to reside in it. And so what happens is, have being a single place for doing everything, the user finds it easy to type the code, remove errors from the code, okay, compile the code, run the code and save the files or save the projects. So what code blocks does is code blocks on its own doesn't have its own compiler or linker. It uses compilers and linkers from other open source softwares like GCC by GNU group. Okay. So and debugger also it uses the GDB debugger. So once we come there, I'll just show you how you can go ahead and use it. But this should give you a good overview of what a code blocks is. A code blocks is simply a framework which provides place for all these other softwares to reside. Now what is code blocks and what is not part of code blocks? As I told you ahead, code blocks is definitely not a linker or a compiler. So when code blocks versions or packages are released, release 17, release 18, sometimes they may include along with the release of the code blocks, the min GW or the GCC compiler provided that compiler is provided for the target platform. What I mean here is assume there is a GCC compiler available for Windows or Linux. Sometimes code blocks may include it as a part of that framework. At times the GCC or the min GW compiler may not be available for the target platform. In that case, you will just get only the framework. It is your job to install all the, all the other components. However, it's very important to understand that if you have any problem with the compiler linker, you cannot go and contact code blocks because code blocks is not the owner of that particular software. Code blocks is giving it to you as is in the sense they're just bundling it for you, but it is your job to deal with any problems with the respective people who have developed the software. Just in case you are interested to go on to CodeBlocks site, please feel free to go to this site www.codeblocks.org slash home or even if you type in CodeBlocks, it will take you to that site. So CodeBlocks provides support through the framework for a number of compilers like C, C++, Fortran and so on. We'll only be taking a look at its usage for C. So that's what our goal is. And in the next session, what I will do is I will first theoretically show you how you can install the compiler on your machine on Windows, which I'm using. And later on, I will actually do a live demo how you can download the code block. Since code blocks is already installed in my machine, I'm not going to show you the installation.